Hi everybody, here's Intergeo 2022 in Essen and I'm sure when you're familiar with Intergeo you already met these little characters and of course her. This is Elaine Ball from Kid Kids Into Survey. Hello, Hi, Elaine. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you doing? Brilliant. I'm absolutely fan over fantastic being here. It's just wonderful. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> so you're with Intergeo for several years. We yep. saw the development of uh, Get Kids Into Survey yep. with the comics and the posters yes. and the homeworks and so on. But let's start with the beginning. Um, yeah. Why do you do get kids into survey? What's your goal? What do we want to achieve with it? And uh, yeah, just yeah. take your audience with you. Yeah, absolutely. So it all began in 2017. So I set up a marketing agency, a consultancy to for the geospatial sector and land survey and the profession generally. And it was the survey association actually in the UK and said, why don't you put some of your material into the packs for the surveyors? I said, I'll tell you what, I am working with the most amazing cartoonist with Topodot Point Cloud Processing Company. I will make them a poster. So we came up with this first poster and we took it to the AGM and all these surveyors were like coming up to the desk and taking these posters away like, like <laughs> what are they doing? Like it's great. And then it went crazy. So they said, can I produce another poster? And I was like, yeah, sure. So this was just giving back something as a marketeer yeah. and it was something fun. I knew that kids need to know more about it. Uh -huh. I was privileged because my dad's a surveyor, a hydrographer and a mine surveyor. So that was easy for me. Anyways, we produced another uh, one uh, for Antarctica and with my help from the guys at Top, uh, Topcon. And uh, from there, it went crazy and we put it online and it was free. So I thought, great, I can put it online. I'll, everybody can just take it and it, off it'll go. It went crazy and my, my bill in the May 2018 was 1,500 pounds. I was like, I'm going to go bankrupt. I need to like do something with this. So it literally grew legs from there. And I spoke to my great friends within the, the industry and we sort of evolved it and we started producing more and more of these posters because they're extremely visual, visual mm -hmm. and visible and people like them. It's like, where's Wally? You know, yeah. so people want to get involved and stuff. And from a sponsor's perspective, it's great brand awareness. Mm -hmm. You know, Regal, for example, they're always on every single one of them. And it's like, bam, 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 straight in there. So it's great. And they're putting something back. Yeah. But that means it helps us fund more content. And the more content that we can get out there, the more kids are aware of that. Mm -hmm. So this is aimed at uh, 12 years and under. Okay. And uh, the whole point is that teachers, parents, kids, they become familiar with the terminology and the words. Mm -hmm. And then when they get older, they're like, oh yeah, I might do surveying or hydrography or cartography or something yeah. like that. And it's also kind of an education of the kids yeah. because there are also the aspects and facts inside there, how the work of a surveyor works. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, cool. absolutely. And the whole big picture of it, it's just because it's, it's, it's grown organically and it's been extremely fun to do, um, it's just, it's grown legs and we're like, okay, so what is the real purpose of this? So I want to get this into every child's language in their jargon their lingo in every single country yeah so we have some really exciting things that are actually going to be bubbling up in the next few months yeah actually. and i think it's not difficult to find sponsors because everybody is hungry for young talents for young surveyors all companies also represented yeah. at intergeo say we need professionalists we need to get the survey topic into the head of the children yes yeah, absolutely in their minds yeah absolutely and, and this I, is a perfect product yeah because it's kind of gamification yeah it's uh, sympathetic characters they yeah are, they are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the other thing as well is, uh, for those that might know my dad, Steve, we've actually made him into the last surveyor. This is your dad. That's my dad, yeah. Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if he's really happy about it or he, <laughs> when I say to him, he's like, oh. He looks cool. I he mean, looks he cool. looks like a hero. So this, this, this comic's actually based on the world without surveyors and it's about these kids who go and save the world. So we actually have the poster, which we've, we've actually They've all gone at the show. Everybody's got, I've got a last two or three in my bag. But uh, the poster itself is all about the world without surveyors and how disastrous it would be not having surveyors mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Elaine, you are familiar with Intergeo for several years. Yeah. You said you started with Get Kids Into Survey into 2017. Then uh, after two years, there came the pandemic. Then we were digital. Then we met only in Hanover at the small yes. Intergeo. And right now we are back. What do you think? How did Intergeo develop? Or what is your feeling about that platform here? 
What with the with the online platform and stuff? No, with, also with, with the uh, here with the uh, meeting. The, the oh, it's face great. Face meeting. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I mean, I'm a people person, so actually, yes, I enjoy. Are. Yes. <laughs> so I really enjoyed the pandemic, actually, weirdly enough, because it was actually quite nice to not have jet lag. <laughs> and like, because I fly all over the place with the marketing stuff and it was just nice to be at home. But then you start missing connections and I like to see people and that's how you make new connections and you miss all those little things. So actually the buzz here has been brilliant. I mean, we've been really busy and actually speaking to quite a lot of the stands, you know, they've been, oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. And then of course, yesterday's parties are always good. <laughs> cool. So. In which countries or languages is Get Kid, Kids Into Survey available? So we've got it all in English and then uh, we have it in German. So we have one of the posters in German, we've got board games in German. Okay. So the, tr the next step now is to actually franchise this model out. Ah, so okay. because I want to get it into every kid's language, it's a big mission. So how do I do that? I franchise the model. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for franchisees in every country. Okay. So then they have a revenue stream, it's a business franchise, and then they can then build it locally mm -hmm. with the brand ambassadors in the correct languages and the mm -hmm. terminologies and then it's going to get it's going to be better okay. much better and you even told me you're going to gamificate this Yes. You gave so, patient with the so, kids. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I have got um I'm quite like because I'm from Yorkshire in England, I'm a bit of a Yorkshire terrier, so I have I've got my sights to get it into some kind of game like Minecraft or something. So um but how do I get there? So I I went to Minecraft Direct and they're like, no. Nah. They haven't even replied to me. I thought, right, that's not going to stop me. So I've contacted quite a few people who have got senior positions who can get me into Microsoft. So that's my first start. Okay. And um, there's probably tons of games out there that I don't know about because I'm, I'm not a child playing with these Minecraft games or whatever. So, but that's my aim is if I can get it into that, and even if it's just the lingo and the terms mm -hmm. that can get in there, because they're already doing they're already doing bits and bobs anyways in, in Minecraft. Um, but that's the next step, that's what we've got to do. And if I'm going to get every child to do that, I've got to keep pushing to the big goals. <laughs> that's so cool. So here's a woman with power and a very, very important mission for surveyors, for geodesists all over the world. This is Elaine Ball from Get Kids Into Survey. And I'm sure you will find her on the internet and LinkedIn and all channels. Yep, You're absolutely. So enjoy interview. Thank you very it's much. Last day. I know. So, Sad. <laughs> But next year we see us in Berlin. Oh yes, I'll be in Berlin. And then we all play the games. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elaine Ball. Thank you very much.